Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and I've got some of these 300 Wind Mag Sabo rounds, but they're loaded with 22 caliber bullets. We did a video a little while back with some of these on the chronograph, but we were only shooting at like three or five yards. And a lot of you guys commented that the chronograph was reading the plastic Sabo itself. I don't know if the camera will focus on it, but that little gray plastic sable part, a lot of you guys were saying the chronograph was reading the plastic and not actually the bullet. So for this video, we're going to back off quite a ways. I don't know what we'll see. We'll see maybe 10, 15, 20 yards and take some more shots and see what the chronograph says. But <clears throat> I've got some 55 grain loaded with 70 grain match rifle powder. And then I've got some 62 grain loaded with 65 grain match rifle powder. I'm going to shoot one or two of the 62 grainers first. See if the chronograph readings are any different from last time. And then I'll zing in the 55 grainers. Should be going a little bit faster and see the same. I'm going to go ahead and walk off back to, uh, we'll just go 20 yards just to be sure. And see what kind of speeds we get. 300 wind mag. Sabos with 22 caliber bullets should be pretty fast no matter what. Let's see what happens when we step it off a little bit further. All right, now, so I've stepped off 20 yards, so give or take a few, and I've got one of those 62 grainers here, the little bit heavier ones. Let's uh, see what happens with a 62 grainer at 20 yards. I think I think these were reading just over 3,000 maybe. I can't remember what these were reading, but over three. yeah, over three. But still, let's see what happens with the 62 grainers. Oh, this is my Remington 770. If you didn't know, it's got a Spike Camp Boyd stock. Yeah, Remington 770. Here it goes. Did it read? 3180. So 3180 for the 62 grainers at 20 yards. I can't read it from back here, so Paul's reading it. So I'm going to go and grab one of the 55 grainers. All right, now I've got one of the 55 grainers. I'm holding it up like y'all can tell the difference by looking at it. But I think these were reading 3300, 3400. Last time we shot them at like five yards. Let's see if they're any faster. At 20 yards. Thirty sixty-three. Thirty sixty-three, Paul says. So that fifty-five grainer was even slower than the sixty-two grainer. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm not going to burn up a whole bunch of those because we got uh, we want to use them in some other videos. Well, there you have it. Uh, maybe we need to go back to 100 yards. I tell you what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to 100 yards and shoot it, just so nobody's going to comment. Well, you should have done that at 100 yards. So let me grab one of those 55 grams. We'll go back to 100. Might as well do it while we got sitting here with it set up. Going back to 100. Let me grab it. <clears throat> all right, got another one. I'm going to walk all the way back up here to all these weeds at 100 yards. All right, now we're at 100 yards. I'm going to take a knee because I think that'll help me hit it and not shoot the chronograph. And this is Paul's chronograph that we're using. So, uh, yeah, if I hit it, I'm going to have to buy him a chronograph. So I really don't want to shoot the... Uh... Man, I tell you what, this 770, I need to clean it. The bolt is just sticking. Let me see if I can hit it at 100. You good? 
Alright, 100 yards from a knee, try not to shoot the chronograph and shoot it in between those little hoopy doos. See if we can get it. See if it read. Paul's signaling, signaling it to me. So there you have it, even at 100 yards. I don't think the Sabo's going through there. But, here we go. Appreciate all y'all watching. Appreciate everybody commenting on the videos, but I think we kind of just debunked it that that wasn't the Sabo's going through there. Hey, they're uh, going just over 3,000 feet per second loaded with those 22 bullets. But a big shout out and a big thanks to our buddy Seth for hooking us up with those. Appreciate that big time. We still have a few left. We're going to be zinging at some steel and whatever else you guys want to see. So comment down below what you want to see the 300 Win Mag 22 bullets go up against. But a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go subscribe to them. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!